EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for November 26th, 2024. The Tuesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated. Colder weather will be here before you know it, and it's time to start thinking about freshening up that family room for those Friday nights on the couch binging your favorite TV shows or turning that main cave into the colors of your favorite sports team. Let them help you with any interior project this coming winter. They are family owned and operated with over 40 years in business, so you can't go wrong with their exceptional attention to detail and great customer service. Servicing the Southeast PA counties on Montgomery, Bucks, and Chester. Call them now to schedule a free estimate of the phone number above me here in the video, 484-571-9233, and mention EPAWA to get 15% off the total cost of any job that is scheduled between December and March of this coming winter. They are Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated, proud sponsor of the Tuesday video forecast. We have a cold front that's moving through this morning. There will be some showers with that. Uh, some rain, in fact, that, that's going to move through this morning. It's going to be earlier this morning. I think once you get to mid to late morning, it starts to clear out. This is looking at 8 o'clock. It's across eastern Pennsylvania at this point, and it continues in New Jersey. And by the time we get uh, before noon, certainly it'll be done here in uh, the eastern part, uh, coastal areas of New Jersey. Okay. Uh, in the wake of that, uh, that front, once it uh, moves through, the skies will start to clear. You're going to have partial clearing this afternoon, but it will become breezy. And you have some wind gusts that are 15 to 25 miles per hour, some peak gusts as high as 30, in, at least temporarily, and in, in the lower elevations. It may get in the 30 to 35 range again, at least temporarily on either side of noon here in the higher elevations. And then once we get to the evening, this starts to abate again. Uh, so it's just a during the day thing. So I mean, like, like a 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. window from west to east that you have the opportunity for uh, some windy conditions with that. Uh, this is the cold front that is being driven by this low pressure up here and is moving off the coast this morning, going all the way down to the Florida coast, and is going to head out in this direction, and that will be out of here again. Well, partial clearing later in the day today, uh, and then but then we will have partly cloudy skies this evening and clouds increasing overnight because we have another system that is coming at us. Uh, this will not affect your Wednesday. You'll be dry during the day, but once we get later in the overnight period, you're going to have this uh, area low pressure moving off to the south, and it's going to continue. It looks like the new track is going to take this a little bit further to the south now, uh, and the European model was a little bit too amped in what it was showing previously and has backed off that. And at the same time, the ones the, the models that were really flat and progressive have got a little bit more amped, so they're kind of meeting halfway right now. They're starting to converge, and this is what happens when you are looking at something from, from several days away. Once you get to this range, you're about 72 hours or less. It starts to converge on a solution, and that's kind of where we are right now. Uh, changing this over to precipitation type, because once we get past midnight on Wednesday night, there will be some rain and snow moving in for the higher elevations and areas north of I-80, uh, and this is a pretty much agreed upon idea of depending on no matter what you look at, okay? get up to I-80 and points north, especially the areas of elevation, you have the opportunity for a couple inches of snow at least, and we will have a snow map out this for this on Wednesday. They're going to find, that's what we're doing in the next 24 hours, just fine-tuning those details, uh, and the same thing with the rain alert. So this is kind of like a preliminary outlook, uh, but though that rain does change over, or excuse me, snow changes over to rain even there too, but elsewhere we're looking at uh, rain from this, but since the European model is a little less amped, it's not quite as aggressive with the rainfall in terms of total rainfall today. And here is uh, what the GFS did uh, today. Uh, this is the most recent run of the GFS, and it has a very similar idea, very similar idea with snow around I-80 and points north and rain elsewhere. So what are the implications of that? Uh, as far as snow goes, here's what the European model has. Again, once you get up near the New York-Pennsylvania border, that was always always the case where you'd have the opportunity for uh, several inches of snow up there, and this will uh, come down into the uh, at least the higher elevations of northeast PA, but this is mainly north of I-80. Unless you're at an elevation that's pretty high, then uh, it will get to I-80. Otherwise, it's north of there. Same thing shared by the uh, GFS, same general idea. Nearest the New York-Pennsylvania border and the higher elevations uh, getting above I-80 here that will have the opportunity for some minor uh, accumulations of snowfall. This is not going to be a major snowfall that we're looking like it was or turn into that like it was last week or whatever. Um, uh, we're looking at more so, you know, a couple inches, one to three, two to four type stuff. Might have somebody go slightly higher than at a few higher elevation spots, but that's about it. Not looking at a foot plus from this one or any surprises. There's no upper level support for this. So, uh, what, and also the uh, rainfall aspect of this, again, this is still generally a half inch or so, and there might be some areas that go slightly higher than that, but the, the general idea is shared between the European model and the GFS that we're looking at about a half inch, okay? And that's going to go 
uh, all the way through Thursday afternoon. Okay, that's what we're looking at Thursday afternoon. And uh, that system will pull away uh, late in the afternoon. So by the time we get the evening, you might turn a little bit breezy in the wake of that front as you have some cold air infection start to work in behind it. Uh, it doesn't look overly breezy on Thursday evening. I think it's going to be more so on Friday. And you can see that here uh, with a lot of uh, day very similar to what you had today. Okay, so you're going to have uh, 15 to 25, some gusts to 30 is what we're looking at here on Friday. And we're going to have breezy conditions continue again on Saturday. Here, a lot of people ask me about uh, you know the wind. Why is the wind so bad? This is the time of year for that, folks. When you have cold air advection coming in, uh, and you know you're milder prior. You're gonna have something. Something has to give in order to get you from, you know, uh, what it is today. You see above me, 52 to 60. That's pretty warm. And we're talking about at the end of the week. Once this Thanksgiving Day storm exits, we're talking about temperatures in the wake of that. They're gonna be in the 30s for highs. So you can't just go from one to the other without something giving. And that's gonna be uh, with cold air advection related wind. And those can last for a day or two. Uh, this time of year, not just a quick, like today, we have a front going through. It's only going to be during the day today, and that's it. This is going to be a several days thing because we have a bigger uh, push of cold air coming here at the end of the week. And that is going to follow this system. So Friday is kind of a transition day where that trough starts to settle in. It's not completely in yet, so temperatures will still be like 40 to 44, 45 here on uh, Friday. But then Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, where you are all, all three days are looking like we are going to be dry, but temperatures in the mid to upper 30. So it's a big difference. And actually, the upper, the uh, northern areas will probably won't get out of the lower 30. Some areas might not even get out of, above freezing on some of those days, but it looks like it is going to be a dry stretch. There's maybe some lake effect snow showers that take place in the wake of this front that could start as early as Friday, maybe continue on Saturday. Every time you have breezy conditions and you have a big trough like this in place in winter, you can get some lake effect snow. Wind blowing, wind direction blowing over the lakes and carrying that into our area. So at least parts of our area, but uh, it does look like we are going to be dry through at least Monday of next week. But we are turning very notably colder, very notably colder and uh, below average solidly. And that looks like it's going to stick around for a while. If you saw the long range that I did or the weather weekly video that I did, um, this looks like it's going to this pattern is going to hold right through the middle of December. So it's going to be colder than average. And uh, although we don't have any systems in that Sunday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday time frame coming into the region. You know, we might have some down the line here that get uh, will favor snow because it's going to be cold enough to support it at that point. So we will certainly have to watch that through the middle of December for uh, perhaps multiple opportunities for snow uh, coming into the picture before Christmas. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich. That is your outlook for November 26, 2024. Have a great Tuesday.